Hey guys, just hey guys, just before I start this video, um, there is a there is like a one second audio delay, so so the video might not pair up, uh, so you might hear stuff early before it actually happens. So this is always great. See you later. Bye. I'm very rusty. So today I downloaded a project something. I, it was Halo 2 for PC for Windows Vista. I, um, it's project, I don't know what it's called, but it's where you basically get online servers back again. And I am and I'm going to be very rusty at this game because of that. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe this will be like a new fresh start for me. I try to render my videos at like 720p, 60 FPS because um, I wanted to make like really good quality videos, but I can't really because I use the Xbox Streaming that Companion app and it doesn't really work that well. And it's the, actually the only way I can actually get real audio from my headset, so that's fun. This person's camping on top of the roof. <laughs> Fuck you! This person hops around. Look at this person. Fuck you. Fuck you. You deserve you hopping little fucking bitch. The KSG is so fucking ruined. I went four to ten. Four to fucking ten. Newtown 2020 in the Valley USA. But yet we're in 2021 and it still looks nothing like this. Oh man, that's what I mean. I can't use the thing because of look how laggy it is. Hit <laughs> markers. I'm gonna try to hit a clip. I could I have never hit a clip, probably the one where the crossbow. I can't do it because this person's running around with a fucking pistol. Secondaries are primaries in the game. So remember guys. If you wanna be good at Call of Duty, please use secondaries. Because that's how you're supposed to play Call of Duty. Use secondaries. Look at this disgusting little rodent! Can't stand these motherfuckers using their secondaries. They're acting like it's a fucking. <laughs> okay, you want to play those games? Oh, okay, I see you, motherfucker. Okay, let's go. Let's fucking go. I'll use it. There you go. How about you? Get the fuck! Oh, I could have done a double. Darn it! I'm going four to fucking eight. Honestly, I I'm doing better than I did last round. Okay, I don't know what I can do in this situation right now. People are using MAPs, whatever they're called. This person won't get in the fucking way. <laughs> I could have had something so good! Darn it! I was going to make a professional commentary. Oh my gosh, okay. God, okay, I'm gonna have to crouch. Okay, I went 11-11. Honestly, Coffin Creeper 666, you need to get a fucking life. Who runs around with a machine gun and just goes... Have you ever had a, like, a flashback to something that people thought was the fucking worst, but to you, in your opinion, was like, the fucking best? 
Well, I kind of had something like that, and it was a client that everyone thought was the fucking worst at the time, but I think that still had plenty of potential. And no, I'm not talking about the Xbox Connect. It was called Games for Windows Live. And I'm pretty sure it had plenty more potential than it, than it had at the time. If you guys do not know what Games for Windows Live was, it was basically a cross bridge between uh, Windows to Xbox 360. And probably some of the video games you probably know from it is uh, Call of Duty World at Deathmatch. Call of Duty World at War for PC and Halo 2 for P PC or Halo 2 for Windows Vista. And this was probably a, the best service for me. I didn't experience myself, but I remember a lot of people on gaming DRMs were saying that this was the worst, the worst uh, DRM in video game history. And I'm gonna have to charge my controller. So the DRM was basically very buggy at the time. People whose saves were corrupted if you tried to move it to a different computer and you needed a live account to make it or an Xbox 360 account. And I'm pretty sure Microsoft, all they had to do was basically make a cloud surface and boom. They had it. And people could and people can't make local accounts on there because you can't save your game still. If Microsoft would have just fixed the live issue and then made it made a cloud server. Microsoft had a good product, but they had, but they could have fixed it in many different ways. But I, I'm pretty sure Game for Windows Live could have had so much potential, potential at the time. So I have one of the games that came with Game for Windows Live: Lost Planet 2. Now I haven't played the game ever, but it, I just bought it because I thought it would look cool. It's like the predecessor to Halo. Look at this disgusting little rodent! Windows War, bitch. Fuck you from camping there. Games for Windows Live could have had so much potential, but Microsoft didn't decide not to fix it. And I like the um, product keys that they give. It feels just like when you first install Windows. The reason why they probably did that was because they didn't want to spread pir piracy around uh, product codes. So, I mean, but they, pr they tried to send out product codes just so they could stop the piracy from spreading around of different games because you can easily like buy video games off of like some pirate web website and then get it for like free. That's good. It's just that Microsoft just didn't want that to happen and I can understand why. They have to make revenue somehow and they don't want games to like be free and out to the world because if there's because if they make it free, how are they gonna survive? How are they going to keep um, their revenue up and stay in business and that's what a lot of people say why why uh, Microsoft makes Xbox uh, live they used to make broadband internet connection for like the PS2 and the original Xbox and there was something called GameSpy arcade and yeah all of that stuff games for Windows live was the best and the UI, people say the UI was clunky. I thought that was the best thing in ever. Like you could read your messages from your Xbox and I know there's the Xbox app now on Windows 10, but still that was the best thing about about games for Windows Live. You could see the little thing on top. I'll show you a clip right now.
Everyone's standing on top of here. I'm not gonna go. Get cladded, bitches. <gasps> but well is seven seven seven. You are a fucking snake. You literally just go. Got a fucking slide. You know what, that's well, I'm gonna send you a very mean message. Okay, that wasn't you. Let's see if he's still camping. Okay. You are still going to fucking... You're gonna do that. The whole entire game. You're gonna act like this is a fucking campaign mission, not a fucking video game multiplayer. I can't complain about that. If you're using a sniper at close range, I can understand how you can't not hit someone. I can understand that, I really can. Now, I can un not understand why the fuck you're using the pistol long range. Goat Beast 87 Best, you're a fucking warrior. Now, Seaward, you belong in the fucking sea because you're a fucking soggy piece of fucking seaweed on the fucking bottom of the ocean that should just sit there. A salty piece of seaweed that can't seem to hit anyone. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.